Are we having fun yet? Hey guys. Hello. Okay, what's wrong? We haven't seen Sam in five days. Six. Six and a half, but who's counting? Well, what happened? She's always over Nathaniel's house. Nathaniel Bobaleski. Well, maybe she likes him. What do you mean? Well, you know, likes him. Like a boyfriend. Boyfriend? Nathaniel? No way. Well, it, it was just a thought. I'm probably wrong. I'll see you later. He's not her boyfriend. Well, you gotta admit, she's never acted like this before. Oh boy, these guys are really bad off. I'd better get to the bottom of this. First things first, I've gotta track down Sam and Nathaniel. I could always send out an all points bulletin to my canine friends, or I could let my trusty nose track them down. But I think it's best to start off at Sam's house. Gosh, I love it when I'm right. Hey, Dad, it's me, Nathaniel. Hi, I'm from the Wishbone Chaperone Service. Wishbone, what are you doing here? Oh, don't mind me. You kids have fun. I'll just be in the corner. Hmm. Sam, I don't think I'll ever get the hang of it. Oh, come on, you're making progress. Well, I'm not sure I'd call falling down every other time I skate progress. All I want to do is, I don't know, just sort of break the ice with, you know. The guys. Tear up, it'll happen. How? Well, we'll think of something. So far, everything seems okay, but I'd better keep sniffing around to find out what's really going on between these two. I'll get you some water. Thanks. Must be nice, having a dad around. Someone to teach you how to play basketball or to skate. I haven't seen my father since I was seven. There you go. Hello? You again. You know, when my folks split up, every night I used to wish they'd, you know, get back together. But lately, I don't know. I mean, they're happier now, so I guess that's good, right? Yeah. Hmm. Kinda helpless without anybody to push you around, huh? Well, I still think about the way it was before my parents got a divorce. They gave me this on my birthday. The one before they decided to split up. I keep it because it reminds me that despite everything, we still had some good time together. Hmm. You know, now that I get a close look, it is kind of an interesting unit. Not that I'd want to wear wheels permanently or anything. Okay, one quick ride. In the name of science. Whee! <laughs> Wishbone! Where's the brake on this thing? No! Double no! Oh, yes. Wow! What a save! I haven't seen anything that timely since... Since... Well, since Quasimodo rescued Esmeralda. Quasimodo's master, Don Froyo, was still after Esmeralda. In a final attempt to get her for himself, Don Froyo attacks Esmeralda's boyfriend. To make things even worse, Esmeralda is falsely accused of the crime. Her sentence? Death. This is your last chance. I alone can save you. What do you mean? It is I for whom you are taking the blame, but don't you see? I can undo it. One word from your lips is all it will take. Say you will be mine and your life will be spared. You stood by as Kazimoto suffered punishment meant for you. Now you would do the same to me. 
You are an evil man. Be gone or I'll denounce you. Well, die then. High above, Quasimodo watched as the lovely Esmeralda was led to the gallows. <sighs> These bells won't ring on a sad day like today. What a shame. And after she showed such kindness to me. <sighs> Why was I not made of stone like these? Wait, I'm not a statue. I don't have to sit around here. I can actually do something! Have no fear! Your hero is here! Drop that rope, Stinky! Stop! I am your master! Not anymore! Excuse me! Coming through! Make way, people! Escape in progress! Make way! Esmeralda, you'll be safe here. At this moment, Cosimodo, you are truly beautiful. Good boy, Wishbone. You did it. Ha ha ha! You bet I did! Did what? If you hadn't gotten on my skateboard, we would have never found out the way we're going to help Nathaniel break the ice with the guys. Mmm, okay. Whatever you say. I just... I don't know. It was... And then I caught it. <laughs> Let's get to work. Come on, let's play. I don't feel like it. Me either. Hey, just because Samantha dumped you two doesn't mean you have to cry about it. Hey, guys! Guys! Have I got good news for you! What are you so excited about, Wishbone? You're not gonna believe it. Wait! Here they come. Hey, guys. Long time no see. Oh, really? Oh, we hadn't noticed. Enough chit-chat. Let's play. Great idea. I would like to show you the best new hockey player in town. Who? You? No. Him. No way. Maybe I should you know, go. No, Nathaniel. It's time for you to play. What's your problem? Our problem? You're the problem. You and Nathaniel. What are you talking about? All you ever do is hang out with him. I'm just trying to be nice. He needs a friend. So do we. Oh, come on, you guys. This isn't like some kind of competition. It's not like he wins and you guys lose. You're still my best friend. We are? Yes. Then you mean you're not Nathaniel's girlfriend? You thought that I was... Oh, <laughs> you guys. But come on. About Nathaniel playing? You gotta be kidding. I'm not kidding. He can really play. But he's, you know, clumsy. Appearances can be deceiving. <laughs> Nathaniel, stay cool. I don't know about this. Yes. <laughs> Save number one.
kid's a brick wall out there! This is it. It's down to this for the game. The Battle of the Titans! I just needed a little help. Find out myself. <laughs> All right. I get Bobaleski a goalie next game. Oh, no, you don't. Joe picked him and you didn't. Right. Yeah, and the team that plays together stays together. Good for Nathaniel. There's just one thing he didn't oh, learn. In The Hunchback of Notre Dame, the writer Victor Hugo describes a mob scene with thousands of heads piled in heaps, something like the balls in a park of artillery. How did we create this supersized crowd for the scene in my show? Well, first, we brought in some special actors called extras. An extra is a background person, and uh, they just, they're not allowed to speak. They're just there in the background and make it look realistic. You can't have a courtyard with just the two principal characters and that you need to have some kind of movement. So there were about 20 extras in this scene, enough to fill a corner of the courtyard. But to make it look really jam-packed, we needed a visual effect. Can't remember how many extras we had that day, but it was an eighth as many as you see, because I photographed that particular courtyard in eight sections. And then we placed them all together to make the one big group. We call that in the wishbone language a zone shot because we photographed each of the sections of people in their own zone. When all of the camera shots are combined, the courtyard is so full there isn't room enough for a cat, even if Victor Hugo had included one in his scene. <laughs> we worked pretty hard to create this crowd scene. Of course, even if you have a thousand human extras, you still need a canine superstar! The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. Hey, if you want to stand out in a crowd, be like me and put your nose in a book. Check out what's new at your local library.